Hey, how's that doing? Good, I hope. Who loves Star Trek, you know? Um, uh, the original series, The Next Generation, you know, uh, Deep Space Nine, Star Trek Voyager, Enterprise, you know? Um, I've watched them all and I've enjoyed them all, you know? Now, uh, I wasn't aware that there was a new Star Trek series called Horizon now, and um, uh, there's nothing about it that, that's exciting me. I, I don't want to watch it. And for a Star Trek fan to say that, I suppose, it, it's fucking blasphemy, you know? And you know, people will say, that, well then, you're not a real Star Trek fan if you don't want to watch Star Trek Horizon. You know? But, you know, there's nothing about it that, 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 that that's exciting me. That's just my own opinion, like. But I don't want to watch it. <laughs> I just don't. Um, you know, um, in my opinion, Star Trek The Next Generation was the best, in my opinion. Um, it's the one that we started watching uh, when I was a teenager. The, the, the original series was pretty much coming to an end for me, you know. But I, I went back and I watched the original series with William Shatner and all that. And it was awesome for what it was. But the next generation, Star Trek the next generation, was just... Brilliant, in my opinion. Everything about it. The Enterprise, Captain Picard, everything. The, the situations, the missions that they went on with, with the Borg, the, the, the Romulans, the Klingons and all. It was just awesome, in my opinion. And I think that's the reason why um, Star Trek Next Generation went on for, for as long as it did, you know, because it was that good. Like, you know, people wanted to watch it. And, you know, they, um, they keep showing, like, reruns of it every day and stuff. That's how great it was, like, you know. So, um, well, well, that's just my opinion. Like, Star Trek Next Generation is my favourite, you know. I've watched it loads of times, you know. So, uh, it's in my brain. I just know fucking stuff about that, you know. Uh, now, <clears throat> Star, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, when that, when that was first coming out, I was a bit worried because it's not on the Enterprise. It's on a space station, you know. There's no Picard, there's no Cork. It's a new captain. In deep space knowing it's a it's a it's a Cardassian space station that the Federation have taken over, and it's in um it's in Cardassian space. So Star Trek deep space knowing was a complete departure from um Star Star Trek Next Generation and the original series. So. Was saying this might be as good, but I watched it and for a while, nothing, nothing was happening on deep space and when because they're on a space station, which means stuff has to come to them for shit to happen. If you know what I'm saying, to you. which is what happened. Like, you know, the the, the Kardashians would go there and try to destroy them because the Federation uh, um uh, are, are, are protecting the uh, Bajorans and the Kardashians just hate the Bajorans and want to conquer them and stuff. So. The, the, the Kardashians are attacking the, the Federation and stuff like that. Uh, so it was pretty far to force, like, you know. Um, in my opinion, you know. But when, when the uh, Dominion came into it, that's when these Space we really started picking up, like, it, started, it got really good, in my opinion, you know. So the, the, the Space Nine went on for a, few, for a few years as well. You know, um, brought in the uh, the uh, defiant, the the USS defiant, which was awesome, and uh, you know, uh, brought in Garrick, the the uh, the Cardassian Taylor who stays on board, and uh, it was great. I mean, deep space knowing, you know. So yeah, so we, then after that, uh, now in my opinion. Um, after Deep Space Nine, that's when things went downhill big time for for me anyway, as as a Star Trek fan, you know. Uh, next we had now, in my opinion, Star Trek Voyager. Now this is my opinion; it's the worst of all the um Star Trek um uh, series. In my opinion, it, it's just it's boring. It, it, Captain Janeway, her, her voice goes through my fucking head, like, you know, every time she talks, 
It's the eyes it's, it's one of them voices that really goes through my head. Like a, that sort of thing. That's just my opinion, you know. So from the get go, you have a female captain, which is good. I mean, that that pleases the the female uh, audience. But her voice is just fucking annoying, you know. It just every time she talks, it's, yeah, it's a county, my purse to be setting, yeah, team rack. Where, where are we going? Like, that's just my opinion. Uh, I have nothing against the lady. Just her voice goes through my fucking head, you know. So. Um, Star Trek Voyager, you know, it was just, it's just barren in my opinion, I mean, um, it didn't get going till season 4, when the Borg came into it, you know, but, but prior to that, it was just barren, you know, anomaly after anomaly, you know what I mean, so the whole thing is, uh, the Voyager is an intrepid class ship, a new a new class of ship, it's a lot smaller than um, the Enterprise, so, like, it's not, in my opinion, it's just not impressive looking, you know, really, the DNA cells go up and goes into warp, which is cool, but it's just a much smaller ship. So the sensation of awe with the ship, in my opinion, it's just gone. Like. So the two things that needed to be fucking right, in my opinion, the like Captain Janeway and Voyager itself, them two things had to be awesome. Same as Picard and the Enterprise and Cork and the Enterprise, but just wasn't, in my opinion. See? So the thing is, um. Uh, Voyager is is trapped in the Delta in the Delta Quadrant, and they have to get back to Federation space, which, which will take over seventy years. See? So they have to find a way to get back, you know. So for the first what, two or three seasons, it's them um, encountering new aliens and stuff. Um, but for the most part, it's just anomaly after anomaly, you know. Um, now. The Marquis have joined the, the the Starfleet crew on board the, the on board Voyager, because Voyager and the uh, Mar Marquis were trapped in the Delta Quadrant together. So, um, they they joined the ship. So there's a lot of strategy and deceit going on there, which was uh, which is interesting. But again, it was it was just it was nothing epic for me, you know. Um, until the bar came into it, that's when things are picking up. You know, but it took what two or three seasons, two or three years, so we're just barn like you know. Now that body guy is the doctor. He's a hologram. He, uh, now the thing that's interesting, they 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 do a lot of stuff with him, because he's a hologram and stuff, which is interesting. But a lot of missions were about him and stuff like that, which is interesting. Uh, but it's just it's just uh, nothing epic, like like the the Dominion or the Borg. But that's when things they, they start picking up. But like, um, for me personally, we 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 found a barn in general, you know, you know. Uh, in my opinion, Voyager is just the worst out of the Star Trek series. That's that's, that's just my own opinion, you know. Um, so that's that's just my opinion. Now, uh, so but Star Trek uh, Voyager only meant for like four or five seasons. It didn't last as long as. Uh, Deep Space Nine or um, Star Trek Next Generation. But, you know, after season four, when, when season four started, this is season two, uh, things started picking up. But, but, uh, there are seven seasons in Voyager, yeah. But it just didn't do as well as Deep Space Nine or um, Star Trek Next Generation. Just, in my opinion, I don't think it did as well. So because of that, the, the last one that we ever seen was Star Trek Enterprise. It's meant to be like a prequel to the original series, you know. This is like uh, the Enterprise is only capable of warp five and stuff. How how things were made, like um, transpires and stuff, were run the Force Enterprise, and this is before the Federation was founded. But that was more interesting because the Enterprise looked cool. Jonathan Archer was a, was just a cool captain, in my opinion, you know. So in Star Trek Enterprise, they got the two two important things really. The Enterprise and Captain the what Captain Archer who who whose voice just wasn't as annoying. Like I said, every time she spoke, I was like, nye, nye, and I'd have to turn the volume down because it was that annoying. Like, in my opinion, but um, because Voyager didn't do that well, like, and the Archer kind of just didn't didn't impress anybody. I only went on for four seasons, so that's when we said that's it. Like, I mean, we just of just last interest in Star Trek, you know, until they bring out something epic, in my opinion, which they haven't. Like, 
just like I said, the stars are horizon. People tell me you have to see it, but I don't want to see it. It's just don't. <laughs> but seeing nothing interesting in it, you know. Uh, that's just my own personal opinion. Okay, fellas. So if you like, if you want to give opinions or like this, like, go ahead. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.